given that x equals square root of 3 minus square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 3 and y equals square root of 3 plus square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 3. Then the goal is to find the sum of x and y. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this value of x and y, the goal is to find the simplest possible form of x plus y. Now to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is, why not, square this equation. And if we do that, we get x squared equals 3 minus square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 3. We will do the same thing in this equation. So if we square this, we get y squared equals 3 plus square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 3. Now notice we have same term and they have different sign. So what we're going to do here is to add these two equations. And if we do that, we eliminate this term and we have x squared plus y squared equals 3 plus 3 or simply equal to 6. Now we found another equation in terms of x and y. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 6. Now let's set aside this result. Now from here, notice we have 3, we have the same term, minus and plus with the same term. So this is sum and difference. So why not? Let's multiply x squared and y squared. Because if we simplify the right hand side, this is just the square of the first term minus the square of the last term. And 3 squared is 9. Square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 3 squared is 5 plus 2 times square root of 3. Simplifying this, we have 4 minus 2 times square root of 3. Now let's focus on this result. Now from here, notice the left hand side of our equation, x squared y squared. We can rewrite this as x times y raised to the power of 2. Now, let's get the value of x times y. So get the square root on both sides. Take note, x here is greater than 0. This value is greater than 0. And the value of y is also greater than 0. Therefore, the product of x and y is also greater than 0. So we don't care to the negative value of xy. Alright? So xy is equivalent to the square root of 4 minus 2 times square root of 3. Now let's focus on this result. And let's simplify this. But the way to simplify this, we will use a shortcut. And that shortcut is called the Abu Kamil's way. So in Abu Kamil's way, if we have this format, square root of a plus b plus or minus 2 times square root of a b, this is equivalent to square root of a plus or minus square root of b. If this is plus, so this is plus. If this is minus, this is minus. Provided that a is greater than b. So we will use this concept to simplify the value of x times y. Because we see that this 4, we can rewrite this as 3 plus 1. And this 3, we can rewrite this as 3 times 1. Now, this is now in the form of Abu Kamil's way. So we can simplify this nicely as square root of 3 minus square root of 1. Which is square root of 1 simply equal to 1. And that is the value of x times y. Now using these two results, we cannot find the value of x plus y using this identity. Because if we square x plus y, we get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now rearrange some terms a little bit. And we now have the value of x squared plus y squared and xy. And here they are. x squared plus y squared is simply equal to 6. And x times y simply equal to square root of 3 minus 1. Distribute these two, we have 2 times square root of 3 minus 2, and simplify this, combine like terms, 6 minus 2 is positive 4. Now, what we're going to do is solve for the value of x plus y. So let's get the square root on both sides. Again, take note, x is greater than 0, and y is also greater than 0. So the sum of x and y is also greater than 0. So we don't care to the negative value of x plus y. Now let's focus on this result because we will use again the Abu Kamil's way. 
because 4 is 3 plus 1 and 3 is 3 times 1. And using the Abu Kamil's way, we can simplify this as square root of 3 plus square root of 1, which is square root of 1 simply equal to 1. And there you have it. So the value of x plus y simply equivalent to square root of 3 plus 1. Therefore, given that x is square root of 3 minus square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 3, and y equals square root of 3 plus square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 3, then the numerical value of x plus y simply equivalent to square root of 3 plus 1. And as always, we are done.